Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you how to make this tissue holder. It holds one of these little handbag packs of tissues and it's just nice to have something like this standing on your desk or if you wanted to give a little gift to a colleague or somebody. So to start with the cardstock you're going to need um, I'm using Coastal Cabana and this me measures 11 and 5 8 by 7 and a half inches and my card pieces here I have one that's 4 and 3 8 by 2 and 3 8 I have one that's 4 and 3 8 by 3 and a half one that's 4 and 3 8 by 4 and a half then I have one that's 4 and 3 8 by 7 8 and I have two that are 2 and 3 8 by 7 8 you also need to have some scraps of coastal cabana and um, some scraps for the leaves so the first thing that we need to do is to score and just clear myself a little bit of space here so with my scoreboard I will start with the horizontal and I need to score at one inch three and a half inches four and a half inches and seven inches and then turn it vertically and you need to score at half an inch one and a half inches six inches and seven inches so that's all the scoring that needs to be done Now this is my template of what we need to cut off. So if you have the largest piece here towards you and then you will need to cut off, let me just draw on here, you need that and that, that and that and then that little piece, that little piece, that one and that one. Okay, so all those pieces need to be removed. As you know, I normally use uh, Stamping Up's paper snips for my cutting, but when you're doing something like this, these full-size scissors are much better. But they're every bit as sharp as the uh, paper snips. Okay, so now that I've done that, I will change to my smaller ones because I do prefer small scissors. Okay, so we're going to cut that piece off there. and then cut down to the next fold and I take a very slight little wedge out there and then the same again the other side okay so take that piece off first Take a small wedge and then same the other side as well. So that's the piece that's coming off. Let me cut down. And 
in the other end as well. And take the little wedge. all our pieces cut out. Oops, I moved um, that out of the way, we don't need that. Uh, right, first things first, now this is what I quite often forget to do and that is to do the cutting first for the opening because it needs to be done with the um, layer as well. So what I'm going to do is fold that piece in. This is the small piece down here, okay, so that was my, that's going to be the big piece at the back. So fold that piece over and I am using this punch. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, anyway, you slot that piece in there, position it so that it's half, well, um, in the middle, you've got the same amount of gap that side and that side, and also approximately the same up there and down there. It's not easy to be perfect, but you will be able to get close. That, that looks pretty close to me. I'm lining, making sure that that there is straight with that line there as well. So even if it's not quite in the right place, it should be straight. But very carefully take that out. You do have that on the side bit, but that's inside the box anyway, so that's not going to show. So the next thing you need to do is to put this piece on here. So I'm going to use my snail for that. And then I'm going to fold this back up again put this back into the punch and then punch out that layer. Just line it up again. And that looks as if it's right. You might find like this you get a little bit of the blue coming off or you know the cardstock I mean. But at least that is all lined up beautifully. So before we go any further, I'm going to put on all my other pieces. So that piece is at the end of the box. That's that one there. That's the other end. couple of things that I've forgotten to do but it's not going to be a problem. Um, now that one is going to be there so we need this one on here. Well, not tomorrow, I'll do those pieces at the end. So let's fold the rest of um, these score lines. And it is a good idea to use your bone folder so that you get nice crisp 
Faust her. And then these lines are the on these score lines too. I do want to round off some corners here so I'm going to use the Project Life corner rounder and the bits that I'm going to do is open it all out again these bits that are going to tuck in it's these two corners and then these two corners and I'm also going to do the two corners at the top of this big piece as well okay now I find it easier to do this upside down then I can see that that triangle is actually in the center there although you can do it the other way around and you can feel if it's in the right place this way you can actually see that it's in the right place it reduces the chances of making a mistake And then these two here. Okay. So we're going to close our box together now. And I'm going to use, in fact, let's use Fast Fuse, shall we? I quite like this. I know a lot of people say that uh, they struggle with it, but. Um, Apparently the secret is not pressing too hard with it. And you have to do a little flick when you get to the end. Oh, that was easy. Now what you need to do is if you fold it up like that, and make sure that the line here is straight up with this one and that's straight up and then you can just fold it over okay now if you wanted to make lots of these you could get that far and then just fold them and keep them for a while decorate them once you're ready um, or if you wanted to send them through the post you could do that um, but obviously you wouldn't be able to decorate it too much um, anyway that gets closed like, like that and that one gets closed like that now these two pieces, oh yes that's okay that's going to fit there so I need to round the top two corners and then this one should fit on the back Yes, that's going to work as well. So let's round those two corners. Okay, so pop these on as well. This doesn't need to be fast fuse for the uh, DSP. But fast fuse is ideal for putting boxes together. And if you're like me, you don't like fighting with that red sticky strip. Fast Fuse is a really neat answer. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one. And I saw that I picked up a couple of bits. No, not that one. And then pop this onto here. Let's just 
to raise it up a bit, it was too far away from the top. That's it. Okay. So that's all the sides covered. The only one I haven't done is the bottom. So all I need to do now are my flowers, which are these. And what I did was, I didn't actually stamp the flowers on these ones. Um, I just took my punch, I did four of each. Where's that one? This is quite handy for those of you that don't actually have these stamp sets that go with these punches. Although the uh, um, stamp sets are lovely, a really, really lovely coordinated set. Um, if you don't have them, it still works. No, I don't want that one. I thought that might happen. I'll save that and use it for something else where if the underneath gets seen it doesn't really matter. Now what I do with this is if I don't want to do the actual stamping I take my Coastal Cabana pen and then I just do three lines to give my petals some character. Takes a bit more time rather than just stamping. But it gives a good effect. And then once I've done the large flowers, I do the little ones as well. Again, three lines, but smaller. going to sponge the edges using the white um, ink. If you saw my earlier video where I did, um, I called it velvety flowers, when I sponged the edges like this I just felt um, it made the flowers look as if they were velvet. And I have to say that um, that card that I did for that uh, video has proved to be very, very popular. I've had several people order um, the cards and so that they could have them personalised, which is one of the extra things I do. So that's those. I just put a little bit of white on the little ones as well. These daubers are brilliant. I don't know if you've tried them or not, but they really are good. There we go. So that's that. And I'm just going to give them a little bit of a curl around my pencil to uh, give them a bit of uh, dimension. I 
on the other two boxes that I've shown you for the leaves I've used um, Pear Pizzazz cardstock but on this one I'm using uh, Garden Green because I felt that the Pear Pizzazz just didn't go with Coastal Cabana being such a bright colour I just felt that it needed a colour a bit more definite than Pear Pizzazz we'll see what you think we'll see what I think too because I haven't tried yet There we go, nearly done. Right, okay. So we'll use wet glue to layer these. So that's those, and I'm going to put them onto the box first. And all I need to do is do the leaves. And the uh, pearls. And that can go there. This one could come here. So while they're drying, let's just pop the uh, pearls on. I'd like to use these large ones for this. Pearls really finish these flowers off, don't they? need to uh, curl the petals up like that I've already punched out my leaves and these I've punched out by taking the leaf out of the uh, build a bird punch and then what I do to give these a little bit of character is I take my stylus which I've popped away again let's... right let's use a big one and all I'm going to do is just draw a line down the center of the leaf I don't get myself um, too worked up about this if I go a little bit off like I have with that one. I just try and make sure that that one I put somewhere where it's not going to be seen quite as well as the others. Right, make a note that it's up on there. Okay, so we do four of these at a time. And then I just tuck the leaves in underneath the flowers. Okay. 
just totally random. Some of them I put them together like I have done with that one, other times I separate them like that. And this little one over here, I'm going to find a quite little corner for him to sit. Okay, I think you can go in there. There you go. I have another one here. one there. Now if you're giving this as a gift to somebody obviously you'd want to just pop the tissues in like that. These ones I'm lucky because there's no advertising bit on the front here, no name. Well it's the back actually um, but that's fine. But for myself I take them right out of the plastic um, because the opening for this is actually up the top here rather than in the centre and the other alternative of course is to cut a hole in the plastic so that it matches up with that um, but as you can see I just take mine straight out but I wouldn't do that if I was giving it as a gift to somebody so there we go, what do you think? see what I mean about the pale green leaves there I really don't think they would have gone very well with the Coastal Cabana. Um, there was one other one that I've made, and that's this one here. Um, and the paper that I've used is called... Um, oh, Best Year Ever. I think that was the one from the um, celebration, if I remember rightly. There we go. So, what do you think? Hope you like it. It is easy, it's a bit of fun to do and it makes a nice little gift for somebody. Um, thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, please contact me, I'll be happy to help. If you've enjoyed watching my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button at the top right hand side or underneath the screen. If you'd like to buy any of the products that I featured here, apart from the tissues obviously, um, please visit my 24-7 online stamping up shop. The link is on the screen. Many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.